He is known for his successful career as a stage actor on Broadway, appearing in numerous productions from 1908 to 1914. He is recognized for his talent and charm, which caught the attention of prominent Broadway producers such as David Belasco and Charles Froman. His name is Milton Sills. In the early 20th century, a young man named Milton Sills was born into a wealthy family in Chicago, Illinois. His father, William Henry Sills, was a successful mineral dealer, and his mother, Josephine Antoinette Troost Sills, came from a prosperous banking family. After completing high school, Sills was offered a scholarship to the University of Chicago, where he studied psychology and philosophy. He excelled in his studies and was eventually offered a position as a researcher at the university. But fate had other plans for Milton Sills. In 1905, while still working at the university, he had a chance encounter with stage actor Donald Robertson, who suggested that Sills try his hand at acting. Intrigued by the idea, Sills decided to take a leap of faith and pursue a career in the theater. He joined Robertson's stock theater company and began touring the country, honing his craft and gaining valuable experience. Sills' talent and charm did not go unnoticed. In 1908, while performing in New York City, he caught the attention of Broadway producers such as David Belasco and Charles Froman. That same year, he made his Broadway debut in the play, This Woman and This Man. Over the next few years, Sills would go on to appear in about a dozen Broadway shows, establishing himself as a respected and sought-after actor. But Sills' success was not limited to the stage. In 1912, he joined the summer stock cast at the Elitch Theater, impressing the owner and producer, Mary Elitch Long, with his charm and talent. Around this time, Sills also found love and companionship. In 1910, he married English stage actress Gladys Edith Wynne, and together they had a daughter named Dorothy. Unfortunately, their marriage ended in divorce in 1925. However, Sills found happiness once again when he married silent film actress Doris Kenyon in 1926. They had a son named Kenyon Clarence Sills in 1927. In 1914, Milton Sills burst onto the silver screen, making his film debut in the big-budget drama, The Pit, for the World Film Company. This role caught the attention of film producer William A. Brady, who wasted no time in signing Sills to a contract. With his rugged good looks and undeniable talent, Sills quickly became a matinee idol, captivating audiences everywhere. Over the next few years, Sills continued to make a name for himself in the film industry. He worked for various studios, including Metro Pictures, Famous Players Lasky, and Path Exchange. In 1923, he had the opportunity to star alongside the legendary Colleen Moore in the highly successful film, Flaming Youth. But it was his role in, The Sea Hawk, in 1924 that truly solidified his status as a box office sensation. The film became the top-grossing movie of the year, and Sills's performance was hailed as exceptional. Not content with just acting, Sills also showcased his skills as a writer. In 1926, he wrote the screenplay for, Men of Steel, a film in which he also starred alongside his wife, Doris Kenyon. This demonstrated his versatility and ability to contribute to the filmmaking process beyond just being in front of the camera. As the film industry transitioned to sound pictures in the late 1920s, Sills embraced the change. In 1928, he appeared in, The Barker, which featured both silent and talking sequences. This marked Sills's first foray into the world of sound films and hinted at the future of cinema. Silza's final film appearance was in the title role of, The Sea Wolf. Released in 1930, this performance was praised by critics, with the New York Times describing it as, incisive. It was a fitting end to a career that had spanned over a decade and left an indelible mark on the history of motion pictures. Milton Sills was a true pioneer of the silver screen, captivating audiences with his talent, charm, and versatility. From his debut in 1914 to his final performance in 1930, Sills's impact on the film industry cannot be overstated. He will forever be remembered as one of the greats, a trailblazer who helped shape the course of cinema history. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.